Khayyiv Post visited Orbita, a city that was meant to become home to tens of thousands of nuclear power plant workers, like Pripyat or Enerhodar, but it was abandoned during construction, leaving behind the shattered dreams of hundreds of people who had already moved in. 39 years ago, the largest man-made disaster in human history occurred. But few people know that Chernobyl and the town of Pripyat are not the only abandoned nuclear power cities in Ukraine. At one time, according to Soviet leaders' plans, Ukraine was supposed to become a truly nuclear country, the center of the Soviet nuclear program. At first glance, it might seem like we are walking through the eerie streets of Pripyat. But no, this is Orbita, a city built in the mid-1980s, right in the center of Ukraine, on the banks of the Kremenchuk Reservoir. Tens of thousands of people were expected to live here, working at a nuclear power plant that, like the one in Chernobyl, was planned to have four reactors. The construction project was colossal. Builders managed to complete a huge concrete industrial site covering several square kilometers, a ventilation stack, and foundations for two reactors. So what you can see around me, this is the remnants of the Chigurin nuclear power plant. Nuclear power was a dream of the Soviets. The idea was that they're going to have unlimited clean energy that was going to provide people with the future, a wealthy future, a happy future. They also built the administrative building for the power plant, where a unique mosaic has been preserved in the lobby. Well, you can see here on this mosaic, this is Orbita, where we were just visiting. And if we go this way, you see it's a map right here. Here is the power plant. Power plant right here. And this is the Sea of Kremenchuk. Several apartment buildings with small flats were built where hundreds of workers could come to settle. But the bright future they planned never came to fruition. After the Chernobyl disaster on April 26, 1986, the project was canceled. People who suddenly found themselves unemployed in isolated high-rises in the middle of the forest began to leave, and Orbita turned into a ghost town. Let's take a closer look at what remains. So welcome to Orbita. Here you could get yourself a small but cozy little flat with one kitchen, one bedroom, and a bathroom. Also, a beautiful little balcony. The buildings were typical Soviet-style houses with modest one-room apartments. Still, people were eager to live here. The profession of a nuclear engineer was prestigious, and the location was pleasant. It's really beautiful. It's very beautiful. You can see the nature. Yeah, it's definitely this uh, building has gone the way of the, the natural world, it seems. You can hear the, the only sound you can hear outside is the birds singing. Over the past 40 years, most of the apartments have been completely destroyed. Unlike Chernobyl, this area is not radioactive, so access has remained open, including, unfortunately, to looters. Well, you can see here that uh, the abandoned apartments have been pretty much cleared out, like even even here, the electric switch. Uh, as I understand, the uh, the metal gatherers came, This they were gathering the scrap metal and they took that out. Uh, you can see that the windows are gone. Um, you don't see uh, furniture or you know anything like that, but every now and then you'll see some random documents, some old wallpaper. Um, it definitely feels like a post-apocalyptic movie. However, many fascinating artifacts are still scattered around. Some apartments still have charming wallpaper that reminds you of family warmth. I believe we found the, uh, the kitchen or the dining room. Got some uh, grapes here, a lovely apple. Uh, I believe Hennessy. Yeah. <laughs> Hennessy, really? Looks like Hennessy. Martini. <laughs> a very stylish apartment. In some places, even the bathroom tiles survived. So here was a bath right here, and here's where you had your sink, your medicine cabinet up here. Very comfortable little bathroom. I'd have to say, like, it's, this is good tiling. I mean, it's, uh, it's been out in the weather all this time, and it seems to be doing just fine. And even wallpaper, with primitive but touching examples of post-Soviet erotic art, remains on some walls. Naive, but very unusual to see now.
Oh, and I think we've uh, we've just hit the jackpot. There are also artifacts from the 1980s, posters dedicated to the Communist Party, and even a Soviet-era refrigerator. So right here we have a little Soviet-style fridge. Uh, I guess this had some kind of, uh, it was close to the window, and you could put your stuff here and it would cool off. Interestingly, signs show that people continued living in some apartments until the late 1990s. Judgment Day. Some, uh, some great music. Ukraine, 1997. So we have here a calendar from 1993, so well after 86, there are still people living here. But Orbita not only comprised residential buildings, a lot of social infrastructure was also constructed. For example, there's a restaurant where on the second floor, tiles made from shellac, a valuable finishing stone of the late Soviet Union, have been preserved. There's also a department store from which beautiful mosaics still remain. So we've made it to the supermarket. Of course, people didn't just vanish. Nearby, only a couple of kilometers from abandoned Orbita, two new five-story apartment buildings were built in a neighboring village. Some former residents of Orbita's nine-story towers moved there. However, many prefer not to speak to visitors. Their dreams, once tied to the nuclear future, were never realized. Those who remain do their best to take care of the new settlement. But even here, people are leaving as the for sale signs in the windows show. Orbita has become another city whose dream was never fulfilled. After Chernobyl happens, um, this, uh, this dream kind of died a little bit for the Soviets. Um, it's a bit sad when you think about the folks that were living in these uh, comfy little apartments and starting new lives and uh, how their livelihood uh, disappeared after the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. But what you could see here uh, was obviously a lot of money, a lot of effort, and a lot of expenditure that was going toward making that dream happen.